Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, full house today. We're going to pick bones from the. <coughs> excuse me. Pick bones from Ipswich game. Uh, Andy at Red Corner. Dale, uh, pleasure to have you on, mate. Hello, um, mate. Ryan as well. Uh, so we'll go from top and round. Uh, Andy, uh, Ipswich, best side I've seen at Oakwell this season. Yeah. Uh, we'll get round to you know team selection and bat, but. You know, Luca Connell. <coughs> people saying we sadly missed Luca Connell, but I was surprised that Benson didn't get an head start in front of Russell. If I'm being honest, but again, what goes off in training, I don't know. But what we are take on, you know, a, a bit of a of a of a view on that, like it's which best to, uh, see uh, side it's been to oh, well, the season. Well, I said exactly the same to Maddie um, and some of their supporters coming out as well. I think they were. Best side, without a doubt, that I've seen at Oakwell this season. Um, mm. Just quality all the way through. Then again, you know, <laughs> if you spend money and get quality players in, you expect to be up there, don't you? Um, but, yeah, having, having said that, to be, I'll be honest, um, I thought we matched them in first half, apart from when we let first goal in, I thought that's when uh, the Zeds went down a little bit. Um, was it a corner? Because we had our sat, it didn't look like a corner. No. Well, again, where I'm sat in Easter, because I'm sat near uh, in corner where away fans are, so it was oh, a little right, bit right. awkward. In fact, I didn't know it was a goal, and I don't think it switched fans knew it went no, into the didn't, top players. Yeah. And I thought it's a um, sign netting, to be honest. Mm. Um but yeah, I, I thought we matched them. Um, I honestly did in first half. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm, a, I'm a little bit overall. Um, I'll admit it, I'm a little bit disappointed how we approached it. I, I think some of our players will be, or should be, I think personally, uh, a little bit disappointed with their performance yesterday. Uh whether you're playing top team or bottom team, uh, I don't know. I, th I think we just look a bit tired at minute. Uh, I honestly do, and I think I think that showed in second half. Okay. Okay, Dale. I mean, do you agree with Andy? Uh, you know, uh, do we look tired? Referee again. I've been a lot on social media, and I've got my own thoughts on that. So I'll come to that in a minute. Uh, but I mean. Did we hold a zone? What, 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 it, what were we surprised? Because I, I, I reading some comments online and even on on, on video what I've done. Uh, we uh, we can build up to this two in one. You know, saying that Ipswich is should go side. We can see you know getting a tonk in here four or five no. And I'm thinking, well, mm, yeah, we might be a decent side. We, we drew up their place, <clears throat> you know. So I mean, there's a lot of things to take into account, but. And fair play to them, you know, fetching that amount up, 5,000 on that journey. Yeah. Great support as well, you know, fantastic support. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, what what's your, what were your take on the game, Dale? Um, we tried to win the game in the first half, Neil, <clears throat> in my opinion. We, we just we just, we just just tried, in my, we just tried too hard in the first half. With a, I think we just knackered his sends out, we tried to win the game. Um, but it, it weren't working for us. The, the the quality on the set pieces was poor from Nicky Caron. Th three very poor corners. Didn't even beat first man. I don't know if that's a a training ground thing, but I, you, you, they just looked lethargic. They didn't. I, the whole the whole the whole atmosphere weren't right. I didn't feel like yesterday. I don't. I didn't feel it weren't a big. It weren't a big game field yesterday. In my opinion, I think it was just like a. A normal, a normal Saturday game or something like that, because the the atmosphere, it it didn't seem, it weren't as. I know, I know Wednesdays is a is a rival, but it, it's it's up there, Ipswich, second v fourth for for automatic play up for automatics. It it fit, felt a bit flat in some parts of the game, and and when that first goal went in, I think that were it. I think heads went. Um, I just, yeah, heads went. It was just, it was just one of them games where I think the first goal won it for either side. I think, um, but yeah, I'm disappointed. I am because we still had something to play for yesterday. Um, but I feel like <sighs> there's not to play for now. 
in next two you games. Still <laughs> to play for boy in, in playoffs. I mean, we we finish. I mean, well, yeah, you're still something to play for for like such as players not to rest on laurels and think, yeah, you potentially could miss out on a Wembley final. Uh, yeah, yeah, true. You got it's got to be right frame of mind and stuff like that. So, I don't think Duff will allow that complacency to settle in because no. we've got the we top half of the season. Is not we gonna can't. like I said, yeah. Do you know what? If you're gonna yeah. be switch off. You're not going to make your side to love mate. Uh, absolutely, mate. I, 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 we've got to win our next two games for that for, for get to get that um, confidence back. Because that were that would have been a, a massive blow to everybody yesterday, fans, backroom staff, players. You know what I mean? And and it's like it would it would just like oh, you know what I mean? We played when whenever we've lost at home, we've been battered. Exeter, Bolton, Ipswich. Mm. You know what I mean, and mm. I agree. I agree with you two saying that Ipswich are one of the best teams we've played. Mm. Also, Exeter are, um, but we just we've got to just go get our heads up, go again, and and mm. and hope for the best. Really, to be fair, mm. I mean we're guaranteed fourth, aren't we? We we can't be caught yeah. fifth and sixth. Yeah. So yeah, you know I would have I would have I would have punched him in the face saying that you know. We're gonna get. We're gonna be guaranteed fourth in playoffs at the beginning of the season. If somebody said that to me at the beginning of the season, I would, I would have laughed in the face. You know what I mean? Mm. So yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm disappointed. I'm down. I'm, I'm a bit gutted. But we move on to Saturday. Move on to Saturday. I mean, Ryan, yeah. let's go into you. I mean, lots been said about stuff. You know, Andy and uh, Dale's a very tech on it, and like I said, I'll come to mind in a bit. But again. Like what Dale touched on, V. If you'd have said like fourth, guarantee a playoff spot, fourth at the beginning of the season, you think, God, there's a bit of a task on here. But credit where credit's due, you know, Duff's got players in, you know, probably big bodied and steel. Yeah, you know, yeah, had vast amounts of cash, like what lads have touched on with Ipswich. Yeah. And fair play to McKenna, you know, he's still got to, it's sorry, putting side together, you still got to make it gel, uh, make him work together as a, a unit, and they have done. And same, I think same can be said about Duff. He had money to spend, but what players he had brought in, you know, is is got a tune out of him. You know, even some players from last season have like improved. But do you think it was a bit one one too far? Ipswich, do you think? Mm, yeah, do you know what? Reset. Let's let's crack on. Um, I mean, let, let, let's have it there. He's done a, he's done a brilliant job as Michael Duff. Not not just because of where we are in the league. But about the connection that he's brought back from the style of football he's playing and the connection he's brought back from with the fans to the club. And I think he's been, you know, critical for that, for that, for that. He's done he's not just about the way that we play football, the results, where we're finished in the league. He's managed to gel the fans and the and the club back together. So that can't be understated. He's he's done a fantastic job. Hmm. You know, and we're we're not struggling, are we? We're on eighty-five points for two games left. We've had a fantastic, you know, as far as it goes, we've had a pretty, we've had a, you know, a fantastic season, really. Um, but last night, you know, we were just beaten by a better team, you know, and it happens in football, doesn't it? it happens all all across football. We're beaten by a better dodgy team. officials and all. Yeah, God. you know, first half, half time, I said, I don't think he's done that bad. You know what I mean? I don't think he's done that bad. I think he's, I think he's refed it all right, and then come out of the second half and just completely turn that on his head, didn't he? Mm. Some of the decisions mm. he were making were baffling, mate. I don't, I, you know, I don't understand. But I thought in first day we were we definitely competed, and I thought overall probably for the first forty four minutes we're probably a better team. Really, mm. we mm. played some. I mean, some fantastic passages of play without being overly dangerous in that area. But I think we played some really good football. We matched them for intensity. We matched them for skill. We were we were right on them all the time. I think we'd created the. You know, we'd look like the team more likely to score, even though they cross bar. And then that plague that comes back to haunt us again, we go a goal down and we just can't do all about it. Just the Reds go down at 1-0. It's like, all right, it's 1-0, game's over. It's finished. Mm. Mm. You know, we still haven't won a game when we've gone behind since November 2021 against Derby. And back we're under Joel Allen, that one. It's just, we, just, we, we need to get that <laughs> back because... You know, it's professional football. They're all professional players. At some point in a match, you, you're going to go behind, aren't you? <laughs> they all do. Mm. All the best teams do. You have mm. to learn how to get, get back, get your heads into it, because we just seem to just the performance from then just went. Yeah. Second half were 
I don't know if they were exhausted or tired or what, but it just we just didn't seem to get going again in second half, did we? Um, yeah. as, mu- as much as I said, like, I've loved Michael Duff, uh, I was baffled by the decision to leave Call on and, and take Norwood off. Absolutely baffled by I it. Was saying, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was saying, I just didn't get it. Agreed. I just didn't get it. Yeah. Call looks way off pace last night. Yeah. And yeah. Norwood, we're, we're doing, you know, we're, we're being Norwood. He was definitely going to win a bit of chance. He did it against Lincoln, didn't he, the way, last week? Mm. Mm. When he took Norwood off, you're like, really? <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. uh, you know, and I think it would it it, it would done from then. Um, but we can't, you know. I, I think the important thing is that we don't we don't let this carry on into an hangover into playoffs. You know, we're in playoffs now. We can't we can't drop any lower than fourth. Mm. So let's take it as a massive pos- positivity. We've got a semi final to have at Oakwell, a, a playoff semi final to have at Oakwell, where it's going to be absolutely bouncing. We've got potential of getting a final at Wembley. Another visit down south to go go have a, a final at Wembley. So there's lots of positives to be taken out of it. And I think what, what, would, what, what would you, what would you do? What would your what would your three do? Would you would you keep the team together, or would you make some changes going into the last two games at season? What, what would your three do? Changes for me to rest them. I keep it. I keep it. Yeah, I'd keep it. it myself. Just I think I think we need. Uh, if you look at the run that we went on, yeah, and the strength that we took out of the fact that we're playing mainly the same eleven all the time, we're playing really well. I think that's really important. We really need Luke Conn back. I mean, he missed him massively last night. Yeah, you know, if you, if you play out of the season to be missing in the biggest game is it absolutely gutted. Um, mm. John Russell did all right. You know what I mean? He he did some good stuff. He, he used his strength of quite a bit. He won't ball back a bit, but my god, he's slow. <laughs> I want, I want so, that's him. just a lack of game time, though. Do you think that's just a lack of minutes that he's not getting? Or I, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. They, cause it, when Huddersfield, I've got, I've got a lot because I live in Wakefield, so I've got a lot of mates that are Huddersfield fans. Um, because he's not so far over that way. So they, um, they said when we signed him, said he's a great player if he's got someone to play alongside. Mm. He said, but he's slow. The one point is that he's the slowest player I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So. I think it just. I think he's just slow. Mm. But he did some. He did some good stuff. You know what I mean? He, especially when he air, because he's a he's a massive lad in here. But he also made quite a few errors. And he, I think he, yeah. it, 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 Russell lost his marker for the first goal, wasn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. everybody did though, didn't they? I think everybody lost. You know, yeah. everybody went I mean, on, on form, were they? It weren't a corner. It weren't a corner. Um, it one no. of them that you could maybe see why, but, but it, it, it definitely weren't a corner. But then you've got to defend corner better. That's mm. two and two weeks now where we've been beaten at near post at a tight angle that should never be going in. No. Mm-hmm. Against Burton and now one against um, Ipswich. Can't be getting beat on your near post from a tight no. angle like that. It's just unforgivable. <clears throat> what do you think about the second goal? Covering it, I should have someone up front post. It's simple as what, that. Do you, what do you think to the second goal? Because a lot of people are saying it were a foul on Mads, but I think it were just two big blokes. 61, 61, half a dozen other. Exactly, yeah. that's what that was. They were both wrestling. Man should have been stronger. He should have, should have took him back. out, took near the eighth-way line before he allowed yeah. to get run through on goal. But then when it so went too cover. far, he couldn't do it then, could he? Because it's a red card, isn't it? Do you know what it reminded me of that? When it was getting further and further, I thought this could be a ball situation. Be here, rag him down and be off. Yeah, like should have done a favourite up pitch. Yeah. Should have done favourite yeah, up pitch. Yeah, it's what he should have done. But I think but. He's, tried to, he's tried to wrestle it back. And then it, it was quite fortunate how it fell to him. Mm-hmm. So it sort of come off his heels, on it, at the back. And Mads mm-hmm. is still running that way. And he's managed to mean it was a great strike, like so. But no, it, it, I, I didn't think it would have fouled. A lot of Ponty and were saying it would have fouled, but it was 50 50 for me. No. No. Yeah, I mean, my take on it, I, I thought Russell, I thought he was way off it. Too slow, not pressing down, some simple balls he were trying to pass, you were over passing it. it. And you could tell as soon as he lost his man on first goal, Cadden and Herbie came straight to him. He's your man, he's your man. And I purposely looked over at Duff, and even he were demonstrating. He's like, pick him up. Everybody knew. So it's obviously some of have worked on who to follow. And for some yeah. reason, just he hadn't tracked back. Uh, people like said, Oh, we'd ever someone up front post and this other. But for me, if you don't lose your man, he's not going to get the ball. Uh, yeah, I suppose with that argument I, in the nail for not, you wouldn't expect someone to get. An header in at that angle, but it's coming at a decent no. pace. He's got a glancing header, so it could fly yeah, yeah. Line, but it's just uh well when we're queuing yeah, up, I, I, I watched, I, we, we're asking Ponte, I, I, I like literally a few rows back, and we're either watching it 
<coughs> I think uh, when we came up to take corner, Cadden's actually shouted to Herbie Kane, go short. There's a, there's a bloke coming here, go, go for it. And it was too late. It was like, they, Ipswich were on, they were on the ball. They were like, get the ball down and play it and go. So yeah. for me, we, we were too slow to react. Uh, I'm coming back to like what you just said here with Ad's, uh, Mads' um, situation for second goal. For me, he should have took him out earlier on while we had cover up at yeah. halfway line, but he didn't try. He got out of thought, got out muscled. And f- as soon as it went through, I said to my son, I went, he's not going to do all, he's, he's going to let him go through because he's not going to drag him down because it'll be a red. Mm. And lo and behold, it, it went through and scored. Bearing in mind that, you know, the crossbar early doors and all. So that right to run a wall then, we've got to close him down. He can't give him room. Mm. Comes to the second day, I mean, it couldn't have come at a worse time for us. I mean, one note down before half time, but two um, in a matter of minutes, wasn't it? Um, mm-hmm. what can imagine team talk are, are much that altered after we, how we played up until then, 44 minutes. <coughs> second day, if I know he tried making changes, but did it really affect Tolk? No, I, I, was, I was absolutely staggered. And this is my tech, I mean, I'm not calling Duff out, I mean, but I was staggered me, but it it, 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 it left call on and brought Norwood off, like you said. Everybody I thought, ground, yeah. It Everybody ball, ground. Well, no, I, 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 I booed that decision. I, I did. I didn't because... boo, but I'm, it was shocking. We was like saying, "What? What? Where's this coming from?" It was, but again, it's Duff's call. You know, it, it's what he's seen and this and over. But we we, we we needed we needed that George Hurst sort of player up front because Devante calls it. I've never it. I know I keep. Whenever I come on here, it always seems like I'm targeting at him, but he he don't do out. He 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 don't jump. He's one of the weakest players I've seen. When even when he's running, it looks like he's not going anywhere. You know when I, I I don't I don't I don't rate him, Neil. I don't I don't. You said that, I, but his amount of goals he scored, we would be out of that. Well, look at Connor Chaplin. You know what I mean? I, I, you know what? I'd I'd rather have Ladapo, Chaplin, and George Hurst than our four strikers altogether, in my opinion. I, I'd, I'd rather have a lot of players in, but at the end of the day, if we haven't got money to spend on it, then we've got to do what we've got to do. And yeah. Tedich, and Max Waters, you know what I mean? There's, there's Ma- a lot of players. Max Waters who... for me, I I don't know why <laughs> we've got him in. I don't know. He's he's not impressed me at all. I have to say. He's not impressed. Me. If if we've got Ollie Shaw, a player that we've bought, surely we should be bringing him in. If if what Wait, where is he? come on and do that, if he's I'm just going to come on and do that, which he's done it last few games, which he's no, and and had to be dragged away, didn't he? he had to be dragged away from last night, yeah. three knocked down from going to carry yeah. and getting his center red card. It's like, come yeah. on, yeah. three knocked down, game's gone. Don't go and do something stupid that's yeah. going to get you three. Well, it'd be a four match ban this time, wouldn't it? Because he's already had a three. Yeah, match. I thought I yeah. thought it was going me when they were doing. I thought he's, yeah, he's, he's had to go. He got dragged. He got, had to get dragged. Who, who was it that dragged him Luke back? Thomas. Look, Thomas, Thomas dragging him. Dragged him back. Yeah. And I'm thinking, what the hell is he doing here? I'm like, he's just lost. Game balls, were gone. Man. It weren't like it. it. Game were gone. It were like we, were, we had a, a chance to get back into it, and tempers were flaring. We were three knocked down, mm. and game were over, and he, he's going to make us do. He did nothing when he come on. Didn't run anything down, anything, and I just think. If we've got a low player that can't be bothered, then why are we not playing players that we've, you know, I mean, we hounded um, Kilmarnock to get to get Shaw, wasn't it? And mm-hmm. he's not even getting his squad at the minute, which doesn't, again, you do, we're not at training every day, so it doesn't seem to make sense. No. But it's, uh, it might make sense if what was one of his own players, but he didn't. No. So. I mean, second half for me, penalty, I, it, I, I rewatched it back, but that's not a penalty, <laughs> that. it just goes down. But again, a simple ball for third goal for, for me, just a long ball. Uh, it's dead. Players you know, stopped, though, didn't it? Fair players. They just seemed to stop, though, didn't they? They just seemed yeah. to simple stop. thing, wasn't it? I think that's the thing. It's a simple ball, what can damage you, and it's like, what do you do? And well, somebody again, went down, didn't they? Somebody, I think Isted brought somebody down, didn't he? And then everybody just seemed to stop or something like that, weren't it? And then he just got lobbed out of his net. You should always play to whistle, shouldn't you? But yeah. <laughs> But my take on it was, I thought ref and officiating were poor for some offsides and that. Um, yeah. I've heard people like say in East End, so I don't, I'll come to you over this, Andy. I ain't seen it. Where I was sat, it looked f- too far for it from where I were in Ponty. Now, I've seen some things on social media saying that it were a mile offside when it when mm-hmm. ball got pumped up. So I don't know. I mean, you were up at that end, like you said. Did it, were it offside? Did it look offside when it got ball play through? Well, it... it, it... 
it did to me. Um, yeah. But I was just amazed as much as anybody um, that it was given. Um, but yeah, it, it looked to me like it was way offside. Um, but yeah, I, I thought they were right. You've just said I thought they were poor all the way through me, uh, especially that line or um, near where I, I sit on East Stand. Um, yeah, um, I mean, we, you know, did you not... see that then? When because I saw it and I thought he's going. I think it was Erst when he went in and he went in with arm and elbow. Yeah. Elbow. I thought yeah. he's gone here because he got bumped. Yeah. Did, did, did yeah. Even... I know. I know. Didn't even have a word with him, did he? No. I can't it, believe it. I can't believe it. It'll bother him on getting a red for it. And then he's, he's yeah. already on a yellow. It'd be an easiest thing for ref to give him a yellow card for that. And he didn't, he didn't get him because he was already on a yellow. Didn't do it. He didn't give it him. And it's the okay. end of the day, Earth was one that went through for the third goal, wasn't it? He? he didn't finish yeah. it, but he was one that made, created, the, created the opportunity mm. by taking this, you know, the, the one that he said saved. Mm. Just so inconsistent referees. Yeah. Um, and like, and rules, uh, like, you know, didn't even get booked and out. And I'm sure a couple of minutes after, I think one of our players got booked for what looked like an out, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, it, it, no, it, I've got all try to work officials and rules out me this season. It's giving me a dick. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think, though, I don't think we can blame referees. Oh, no. Oh, not oh, last no. night, no. Oh, no. It, it, no, it, it didn't tell it matters. Was, it, it's certainly an issue, uh, without a doubt. Oh, yeah. uh, but, but no, you, you can't blame officials for result yesterday. No, uh, I, no. th I think it was just a mixture of them being, I, I think, the best side at league. I think we were playing best side at league against those that played, what, 40 minutes good football. Mm. Mixture of that for me, simple as that. I like it how Scottish yeah. Premier League gets VAR and we and League One and Championship don't. It's it's mm. it's ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, yeah. to you, Dale. I mean, just what like Andy was saying, best you know, best side. But I think we've all yeah. said it. Best side what's come. <laughs> and you look at and you look at sides who's been here. You know, you, you look at such as like your Derby's, your Bolton's, your Plymouth. Mm -hmm. And to say that Plymouth's at top of the league, and what we did to Plymouth at oh, well, yeah. I don't think it's any comparison for me. I mean. Yeah. The, uh, <clears throat> the amount of support and vocalness behind Ipswich Town fans, for me, any Ipswich Town fans watching, by the way, I mean, we're, we're not, like we've just said here, we're not blaming referee at all. End of the day, we just weren't on it and you did a job on us and it's fair play to you. But, I mean, for me, I'd like to see them up as champions. Me, because I thought <laughs> they're, they're the most organised, well-drilled, well-put-together Mm. Uh, side I've seen. I, in, I don't. In, by I don't, far, I, by far. I said league. to somebody next. I said some to somebody behind me. Um, they weren't that good in first half. I don't think. A bar in the, but I think that I, they were organised. But I don't think the quality was there in the in the first half. I think yeah. they shown more in second because they got the passes going. I think they got more. They were more. What's the word? Um, they were more comfortable on ball. They were more calm. We looked rushed. I think, yeah, I agree with you, Neil. I do. I really do. I, I, I think that they are the best side. I've got to admit it. They are the best side that we've played this season, along with Exeter, in my opinion. I think Exeter were really good. Um, and like I said earlier, whenever we've lost, we've been battered at home uh, by those three teams, Bolton, like you've mentioned, Bolton, Ipswich and Exeter. And I, I agree with you. But... Plymouth have been, yeah, we 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 tore we tore Plymouth apart. Um, but I think, yeah, Ipswich. I think they do deserve it. They're a, they're a huge club in a, in a mm. in a division that don't they shouldn't be in League One. They shouldn't they shouldn't History, be in League One. As well. yeah. History, you know, mm. fan base. I mean, five thousand on a Tuesday night for what is it? An eight hour round trip? Is it? Yeah, they're about yeah, easy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. eight-hour round trip on a Tuesday. We wouldn't even bring a third of that. You, you, mm. you know what I mean? Uh, but listen, it, it's congr well done to them. Well done to them, mm. the, the battered us yesterday. Um, and they deserve, they deserve to go up. Them, them and probably Plymouth. 
I think Plymouth have they've done well to hold their own though. They've they've done really well to Yeah, yeah, they've been up there for uh best part of the season. Either yeah. one or uh, first or second, sorry. So yeah, fair and, play and, to and that. I've I've got to say it well, Wednesdays. Wednesdays have done really well this season and Get I, off I, Milton, Milton. <laughs> yeah, move <laughs> swiftly on. Listen, listen. I, I don't, I don't want them in playoff final. I've said, I've said this. I've said it. I, I don't want them. them. Don't worry. We'll I, I'd, I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather lose to them twice in league than lose to them once at playoffs. I, 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 I no. I'm not. I'm not I'll be, be honest. I'm, I'm not looking forward to playoffs. Uh, me and Maddie said exactly the same thing. I'm not hundred percent confident at playoffs, and I don't want. Um, I don't want that. No, I'm, I'm not. And I'm the. I'm the most. Really? Op- yeah, I'm the most optimistic fan out there. Uh, I, I always think we're going to win, but I'm just. I'm just got a feeling that we're going to. Uh, I hope they prove me wrong. I honestly do, because I, I want to get back in championship where I think we do belong. But I, I, I'm just not hundred percent confident at all. Wow. It's I, a lot I, of it's a lottery, it's a lottery, and it's open all the bottle. Form goes out at window, yeah, <laughs> and it's a open, open all the bottle, and you know, pff, oh no. So go to you then, Ryan. Off of that, and we'll come to Dale. I mean, Andy just said it's like you said. Uh, Dale just said beer about Wednesday. You know, potentially, you know, scenarios how it can well pan out. You know, finals we're getting two final in front. Like we're always saying that we're, we've already got a seat booked on the. <laughs> when we're coaching up with kind of thing, but if you're looking crystal ball future, how, do, how are you feeling, Ben Ryan? With like what Andy said, via you know, not feeling confident, it's a bit oh, air and scare him, twitchy bum time. What, 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 how do you, what's your taking it? I'd listen, I don't think anybody realistically enjoys playoffs unless, you, unless you mm. win it, unless, you, unless you're winning quite comfortably. It's, mm. it's, it's a nerve wracking experience because there's so much, you know, there's so much at stake in there. Yeah. Um, I think as a club we've done we've done pretty well in playoffs. I know I know we I know we lost in semi final um, in championship, but that was a unique situation with no fans in and all that kind of stuff on it. And but well, we had an handful of fans in, didn't we? I think but a unique situation, weren't it? And it, it was very close. Yeah. But before that, we got to the final against it, which in two thousand, we won in two thousand six, we won in two thousand sixteen. So we know how to get as a you know we know we can get the job done. I think. I think maybe we just need to be, you know, turn it around and make it turn it into a positive. You know, I think, like I said, beginning of the season, if someone said we're going to beat playoffs, we'd have, been, we'd have snapped their hand off after last season. Right. I'm, so, I'm yeah, back I'm then. I'm really disappointed about, you know, the fact that we've missed out on automatic mm-hmm. and that we've got playoffs and let it sort of like that, that hangover carry over into those games. Right. I'm back then. This might be a bit controversial now. And I'll open it out to the floor. And people what's watching, they can have your comments and stuff like that. Worst case scenario, yeah, we get us all and we don't qualify for, I won't say Europe, but don't qualify for Wembley, right? <laughs> Worst case scenario, I know. Worst case scenario, we don't manage to get through to the final at Wembley in playoffs, right? Would that be a disaster of a season or would it be no. no, no. Do you know no. what? We've got it as all. Let's just say that and crack on. Oh, it'll be gut, it'll be absolutely gut wrenching. Yeah. It'll be gut wrenching because we're Barnsley fans, aren't we? But no, because I I said to you at the beginning of the season, I can remember we did the season we did the season uh, review, didn't we? And and, and preview whatever. And I yeah. said fourteenth. Yeah. I'd be happy with fourteenth, mm. mid table. Yeah. No, it won't be. It won't be at all. It'd be catastrophic for us as Barnsley fans because we, we, you know, we we want everything to go right and and we want to win every game and stuff like that. But no, I, I, I no, I, I, it won't be disastrous at all. We've just got to rebuild and re-go again. But I think players will leave if mm. if we don't go up. I think players. I think most of his players will go. And do you I think that, or do you think that no. they can see something with Duff and think, yeah? I want to play for Duff because he's I think gained... I think Duff is the only I think Duff he's is the only more person that could, yeah I think Duff is the only person that could keep as big players from leaving yeah if I he's think, still there if Duff's if still, still there if, if if Duff's still there I, I, I don't think he'll go I don't I don't <clears> think, <throat> think he'll go I, I don't know me if oh. a club comes in 
if a club comes in for him, club will take it. Really? Um, yeah, and there'll be teams after him. If if we don't get approach, for, if we don't get approach for Doth, I'll be more than surprised. Oh, um, whether, we wow. whether we let it happen. It, if, you it's my, the, if you think the relationship vote, that we've built back because of Michael Doth and what Khalid has done, he must. He's you know he's a clever yeah. guy. He must yeah. understand that selling Michael Clough to Michael Duff, Michael Clough, Michael Duff to um, to Huddersfield. Let's face it, because we know we're after him. We know it's Huddersfield. Yeah, after yeah. Him. If he sells it to one of our local rivals, you that'll, see the work. That'll yeah, will make a massive dent on that repairing yeah. uh, job that they've done to to you know to repair the relationship between the fans and the club. He must know yeah. that what, what for a, for for a million quid is it as is is I've heard out online. I don't think well, he's that. I, that. But I I hope no. you're right, but I, I think if uh, an offer comes in, I think I think he'll go. I honestly do. And that's I've, I've said before. That's my biggest fear this summer. Um, I don't think he'll go. The mic players going. The mic players go. going. The mic players going. It's it's Duff. Hmm. I think there's too much at stake with Duff going. Like what Ryan said, Via. But when you look at Duff's record as a player, he's at two clubs in all of his career. So he's a pretty loyal man, and he kind of. You know, you look at Burnley and Cheltenham, no respect to Burnley and Cheltenham, but to stay loyal to clubs like that, it says a lot about a man. Uh, it's probably it, an office from elsewhere. It, but it, it's, they're only as loyal, think, though, aren't they, with, with, um, with wages? I think I'd be very, very really surprised <laughs> if Duff goes in this summer because I think what Ryan said, via, they've, they've, got, they've got the man in what I said way back, way back. Uh, at the end of last season, the next, the, the most important, crucial part uh, signing is going to be Gaffer, and it turned out to be that is in Duff. That one, the most integral, integral part. He's got his staff in. Is he knows his own mind what he wants to do? The standards and everything. I think if the club do cash in for whatever reason, I think there'll be a lot of bridges being knocked down. With, uh, yeah, definitely. The, the 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 fan base, the the all surrounding the community and club. Yeah, I think the players will like said, you know what, I'm going because I think he is a key part of that football club, Duff, and I think he'll have that much not power, but I think he'll have that much respect from yeah. people, not just the the, the players, but I think because his fans, because he's always yeah. he'll, he'll he'll never come out with shit. He'll always say it as it is. Well, we didn't play at eight or we didn't do this. I think he gets respect from fans for that. I think the fans play up to him as well. <coughs> and I think all the you know the staff around him, whenever he's got manager at month awards, he's always been, it's not me, it's a team. And I think there's that much right on it. Now, if it does go, I'll be very surprised. But uh, I yeah. see that a massive, massive dent in Barnsley. I won't just be surprised, Neil. I'll be I'll be extremely disappointed, mate. I'd be yeah. really disappointed in the club because... I can see that. a lot of people saying, do you know what? I want a refund. I'll tell you now. Yeah, because if you were, you went to that um, fan meet night, didn't you, on that Thursday yeah. night in, in, in East End. I were at yeah. that night and then all four of them at front there with Michael and Julian and, and uh, Khalid. And I keep, sorry, I keep forgetting the game, the marketing guy. I keep forgetting his name, the new marketing guy that came across. Hmm. And they were all about this is a project. We're building something brilliant at Barnsley. We're building this, and yeah. Michael's, Michael's, you know, key to that. So if they were to sell him, be good and back, and it? move yeah. him on, that'd be a real kicking teeth after what they've promised us. Mm. It really would. Well, I, no. I think last year's toxic. It'll be toxic again, like last yeah. season. Yeah. yeah, it'll be completely and utterly counterproductive if they get it just turned you know, upside down, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if they get that million quid for him and sell him, I mean, how much is that? But how much damage is it going to do to the club? It's going to be, it's going to be a lot more than a million pound, isn't it? And, I, and hope, I hope you're all right. I hope you're all right, but uh, I'm not. I'm not convinced. Me, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if, if he's still the Michael. Uh, Michael, yeah, Andy <laughs> says that he's shitting his bricks here. Like he wants a good, he wants a good pre-season. You want tell Andy, don't worry about it. Is is in negotiations to sign an extra, an, a long term contract? You're right, Andy. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't lose sleep over it. <laughs> Don't lose sleep over it, my friend. We're all good. Bloody hell, we're in playoffs. Don't worry about it. Mr. Positivity's being rattled. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. 
Right. It is um, a worry, isn't it? You got let's have it. It is a worry. It's it is a worry. It's been, yeah, but he's been up there with one of his best managers that I've seen already. I think he's, yeah. you know, I've been going since late eighties now. I think he's one of the best best I've seen. I think he's, he's brilliant. He brings, he brings a lot more. He brings think. a lot more than just being the manager to the club. Yeah, very true. Uh, so we're trying to end, end on a positive note. I think Andy needs to chair shot a few people now with wrestling. <laughs> He's wanted to pick fall or chokes on someone. So <laughs> it's been a minute, like, I think he's, he's gonna either get Khalid in a you know in net lock or something and like making some <laughs> get Duff sign on the bottom line here. So Matt, Matt might be with a call back, uh, Andy. We'll give Alan a yeah, go next well, time and see him. Yeah. Well, you have to if he does sell him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the, the bounds of Jack Russell Terriers after him, so we'll keep we'll keep on with that one. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, MK Don's coming up, so everybody have a safe journey going down there. Uh, we still got to play for, you know. There's still mentality for players and belief, and keep going for it. Let's keep on back form. Let's take it into the playoffs. Um, it all depends who we can play for because you've got Bolton, Derby, and possibly Peterborough. And we know that we've got people coming to Oakwell as well a week on Sunday. So, again, they might need a win to cement their place in there, depending on how it goes. That'll be a tough uh, game, and all. It yeah. will. It'll be a tough game. Um, and, pff, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to it. It's, it's, too, it's too far away. <laughs> it's it's like, we're still, player, still recovering it? from my possibility of losing Duff under Andy. It's like, <laughs> we're, about it. we're all good. We're all good. Let's book his get get book and do me a favor, get coaches book for Wembley. We're right. Yeah, we're that's good. a good idea. Oh, yeah, that, that, well, that's, that, well. That so well. much like a Wednesday thing. That the, the vet coaches yeah. book. That, well, they went uh, up up and top bo uh, bus uh, booked, didn't they, for the uh, victory parade winning? I've already title. booked town all my spot in town all. Have you? Right. All right, that's all right. Then. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> all right. Yeah. They've even booked some sunshiny weather and all. Don't worry. We're all good. <laughs> <laughs> Bank holiday be even better when it comes at the final. <laughs> yes. oh. right. uh, Andy, Dale and Ryan, appreciate you taking your time out. Uh, all being well, we can keep keep it going forward. Um, and who knows, it's football yes. at the end of the day. And uh, this season has been fantastic this season. And like what lads have said, if you just said at the beginning of the season, well, cement his place at fourth in the league. I think we'll just snatch your hands off. But yeah, uh, yeah. It's not going to be, uh, it's still things to play for in it. So, yeah. yeah, Andy, Dale, and Ryan, appreciate you taking time out. Please like, subscribe, yeah, and share. Man. Leave your comments below. Let us uh, know what your thoughts are. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs> <laughs>